Say hello. Who's that? Who's that? Is that you? He's in a very energetic mood. He's had an operation last week, look. Got a little shaved bit. Ah, but you wouldn't know it. He's got more ed energy than usual. So, today's word. Uh, sorry. Good morning and welcome to another episode of me doing my drawings for Inktober that might lead on to more videos about me doing drawings for other things and all that jazz. Anyway. Good morning, welcome to me. Today's word is crooked. And uh, I thought of a few different things for this. There's loads of different things I was going to draw. A crooked man in a crooked house. And I like the kids. The kids are always raving on about that crooked man. But I changed my mind. I got bored of doing a crooked man. I've done enough men. Well, I haven't done enough men. I've done a few men and I didn't want to do another. So I. Uh, Went down a different road, and uh, my nana's always on about when you take the take a picture of her. She's got a crooked mouth, she says. <laughs> and I think it's funny in a little Irish accent. Oh, I've got a little crooked mouth, little crooked mouth. God. So yeah, that made me laugh. But then I tried drawing it, and I lost interest because it it wasn't working for me. I just wasn't getting a good result. But I didn't steer away from the crooked mouth. I came up with one that was crooked teeth. Now, I'll tell you a story about some crooked teeth. In a minute. But, calm down. Hey, do you want to go down? Poor, you farted, you dirty bugger. Look. Covered in muck and air now. Yeah, so I did some crooked teeth and I've got a good story about some crooked teeth, so. Uh, yeah, enjoy. So this drawing is um, inspired by Ren and Stimpy. If you've ever watched it, you'll know of the little like epiphany shots where it's just a really detailed illustration of the most disgusting things you've ever seen, like someone's feet or, you know, spots on someone's back or <laughs> they're revolting, but they're here, they're really good. If you haven't watched Ren and Stimpy, I highly, highly advise that you take half an hour out of today and go and watch an episode of it on YouTube or wherever you can find it, just definitely watch it. <laughs> it's brilliant. Um, but yeah, the episode in particular I'm on about, I think it's called The Tooth Fairy or The, the Tooth Moose or something. I can't, I can't remember exactly what it's called. It's the, I think it's The Tooth Fairy. Anyway, it's, The Tooth Fairy is this horrible little <laughs> Creepy, like paedophilic almost character. Creepy, like flying through the window, but he looks a bit like Peter Sutcliffe from what I can remember, but with his top off and he's like Cupid. Well, he's like a tooth fairy anyway. Um, but yeah, there's an, a, a little still of Ren's mouth when his teeth are falling out and he looks so sad and his little chihuahua face <laughs> and he opens his mouth to what they describe as stinky tooth holes and you can see the little stink lines coming out of the, the holes and oh my god it's so funny and disgusting and exactly what what inspires me <laughs> oh god that's a strange realisation for myself yeah but um Teeth are a funny one for people. Um, I once knew a lad who was going out with one of the most beautiful girls I've ever seen. She was lovely looking. And um, I, I, she wasn't very nice. So, you know, I, I'm quite glad that they broke up. But um, she was very pretty. Anyway. His reason for splitting up with her wasn't that she was a bit of a bitch. It was, 
it was this. I said, I said, why have you split up? And went, well, I just, I caught a look at her and I saw her in a different light. And I went, what do you mean? You saw her in a different light. Was she like, did you notice that she was a bit of a bitch? And he went, no, 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 I want that. I, I, he wasn't really bothered about that. <laughs> he said, I saw like a bottom teeth. And what, and, and what, you know, you, you went out with her for how many months and you've only just seen a bottom teeth? Went, yeah, I've only just seen a proper a, a bottom teeth properly. I said, and what were wrong with them? And he went, they were just all over. He said they were just all over the place. I went, what do you mean? He went, just like a train wreck. Like, they, they weren't even slightly straight. They were taking the piss. <laughs> so, yeah, I've... Uh, got a mate who's that shallow and nasty um but i've also got another mate who's equal well the, a different bit nasty he on a night out there was this girl who turned up to a party that we were at and then we were on a night out with her and she seemed really nice she was really pretty and you know good fun bit of a laugh and um she seemed to be very interested in my mate and he didn't, which really surprised me because he was a bit of a, I wouldn't call him a player, but I'd call him interested in the opposite gender, <laughs> put it that way, and uh, I said, hey, I, I, you know, far into the night and we're all a bit, a bit drunk, I'm like, what do you reckon to that then, you know, she seemed keen, she's like, she's into you. And yeah, she is, isn't she? Like, you don't seem very excited. I mean, uh, I'm not really. I mean, why? I mean, she's, quite, she's lovely. And yeah, but have you seen her gums? And I went, what do you mean have I seen her gums? I said, of course I've seen her gums. And I've noticed nothing. You're, um, you've been weird here. What do you mean of gums? And I went, no, you see, you, you're assuming that I'm being nasty here, but I'm not. Like, I know that she can't help it, but her gums are massive. She's got huge gums, like the really long gums. It takes up the majority of her teeth. Like, it covers 60% of her teeth. Like, well, I've been talking to her all night and I haven't noticed that, but you know, I'll see what you're in, what what you're on about. I went and spoke to her, and honestly, he wasn't wrong. Her gums were were on the uh, large side, but you know, it wouldn't have put me off. She, it wasn't the most repulsive thing I've ever seen. It was just a girl who had a little bit more gum than maybe. A, a different girl. <laughs> it, the way he went on about it, it was like, no, it, it's a deal breaker. I cannot, I cannot try it on with a girl with gums like that. <laughs> Such a weirdo. Well, that's another drawing finished, and uh, I hope you enjoyed it. I, I've enjoyed it. I'm always enjoying it. I'm uh, cool like that. So uh, hopefully, I'll see you tomorrow. And uh, usual, usual jargon that comes at the end of these: buy stuff, like, subscribe, follow me on Instagram. I'd love all that, and I, I do really appreciate it. I know. I, I know I'm rushing through it because it is boring. Like I've said it 20 times today. Follow, follow, follow. It gets boring, but it does mean something. I do appreciate it. So please subscribe. That's the most important bit. And watch. You know, get everyone to, get everyone else to watch. Get your mum to watch. Get your dodgy brother to watch. I don't mind who watches it, so long as they're watching it.
somewhat under my car. Oh, it's just a bit of litter. It's fine. I'll have to move it though. Alright, I'll go get that. Thanks very much. Bye.